welcome to the next episode of Do It Yourself From House To Home. If you're in here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting and DIYs on this channel. And today I'm so excited to be hosting another fun collab today. We're going to be working with the Dollar Store DIYs. And joining me is Deco Easy, Simply Enjoying Crafting and Designs Like It Is. So I'll be sure to leave the links to their channels as well as the playlist in my description box. And let's get to it! Alrighty, for our first DIY today, I'm going to be using this cute little house shape sign from the Dollar Tree. And I started off by using my Silly Cameo 4 to print out this cute little stencil that says Hello Spring. And I'm going to add it to our sign here, and I'm going to fill in the Hello portion using some Celery Waverly chalk paint. And then I'm going to fill in the Spring portion using some white chalk paint. And then we'll just carefully remove that stencil. Next I made a cute little bow using some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and I'm going to add it to the top of our sign here using my hot glue gun. And then I also had this cute little flower in my stash and I'll add it to the top of our bow. And here's how our Hello Spring sign turned out. I think it's so, so cute with that little bow and flower. What do you guys think? For our next DIY today, I'm going to be using this cute little vase from the Dollar Tree. It's one of their glass vases. And I'm going to start off by giving a couple coats of some white flat spray paint. I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum Flat White. And I'm going to give it a few coats inside of my portable spray tent. And here's how it's looking now that it's all dry. Next, I'm going to add this beautiful rub on transfer from this Dollar Tree transfer set, and it's a little floral greenery pick, so I'll add it here to the center of our vase. Next, I'm going to take some Dollar Tree jute twine and I'm going to wrap it around our vase a few times and then make a cute little bow in the front. And then I had these two little wooden beads that I stained using some antique Waverly wax and I'll just add those on the ends of our bow. And last but not least, I'm going to use my wire cutters and I'm going to pop in some of these beautiful Dollar Tree floral picks. Last but not least, we'll finish popping in our floral picks, and that'll be it for this beautiful spring Dollar Tree vase DIY. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I always leave the links to my social media in my description box as well, like to my blog and my Instagram. And this is where I share sneak peeks and behind the scenes, so don't forget to check out those links as well. And back to our next DIY today, I'm going to be using this cute little frame from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by removing the insert, and then I'm going to paint the frame using some Celery Waverly chalk paint. Next, I'm going to cut out this cute Hello Spring little mini calendar print from the back of a Dollar Tree calendar. And then I'm going to add it onto a piece of paper that I painted using some celery. Next, I'm just going to use a little bit of glue to add our little calendar page onto our piece of paper and then I'm going to clip it into our frame and then reassemble it. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of white Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to distress the edges a bit. Last but not 
least I made this cute jute twine bow using some Dollar Tree jute twine. I just wrapped it around my fingers a few times and then tied it in the center. And lastly, I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to add it to the top of our little clip here on our frame. And that'll be it for this adorable DIY. For our next project today, I'm going to be using this cute little house shape sign from Dollar Tree and I'm going to start off by carefully removing those little foam flowers and foam leaves and then I'm going to go in and paint it using some Waverly Moss chalk paint. And now that it's all dry, I'm going to apply this beautiful pattern Waverly stencil using some white folk art chalk paint. And here's how our beautiful sign is looking now. Next I'm going to go in with some Dollar Tree jute twine and I'm going to wrap it around the top a few times and then I'm going to tie it in the middle and make a cute bow. Alrighty, and that'll be it for this adorable little pattern sign and DIY. And for our last project today, we're going to be making a beautiful garland. So I'm going to start off by painting some large beads in one side of our wooden tag using some Celery Waverly chalk paint. And for the other side of our wooden tag, I'm going to paint it using some white folk art chalk paint. And then I'm also going to paint several small beads using some more white chalk paint. And now that our tag is nice and dry, I'm going to add this adorable love, peace, and joy rub-on transfer from the Dollar Tree transfer set onto one side. And for the green side of our tag, I'm going to distress it with a little bit of white folk art chalk paint. And for the other end of our beaded garland, I'm going to be making a cute tassel using this yarn I found at Dollar Tree in their clearance section. And to make my tassels, I use this small piece of cardboard I have in my stash, and I usually just wrap it around a few times and then secure it at the top, and then I add another piece of string around the side. Next, we'll go ahead and start to thread our beads onto another piece of twine, and then I'll just tie our tag on one end and our tassel on the other. Alrighty, and that'll be it for today's Dollar Tree Spring DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Please let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below. so much for watching today's episode you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well as that little notification bell to be notified when i release new content and i'll be sure to leave the links to my etsy shop as well as my social media in my description box and we'll see you next time